Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome to your daily dose. Today, I, as I have promised to you, we're gonna have our third lesson towards the learning of the wine. So today's topic will be wine terminology. Uh, so we will try to explain, to teach you how to describe the wine in a professional way. And for those who have already a little bit of knowledge or experience or they are working in a hospitality in a restaurant, they know a little bit about the wine, this training will help them to widen their knowledge, to become an expert in describing the wine or sometimes there are guests who are asking for specific wine using some wine terminology using some wine words which is not everyone can understand so i'm sure after this training you will be very knowledgeable you will be you'll become a kind of a professional in a way how to describe a wine so let's get it started here are the scope of the training what are the words or terminologies that we're gonna go through so there are a lot of words to describe a wine uh, i have chosen 15 words that will help you completely to describe a wine and at the same time to understand the wine. So first we'll start with aroma, bouquet, how they call it in old world, or recently there's a new word, nose, wine nose. So aroma, wine nose, or bouquet, they all stand for the smell of a wine. So there's a slight difference between aroma and bouquet. It is when it comes to the age of the wine. So when you are trying to explain the smell of the young wine, you better use aroma. And when you are trying to explain the smell or nose of older wine, it's better to use bouquet. So aroma, bouquet or wine nose can be 60 plus 100 flavors to describe wine taste can be earthy, can be fruity, can be you know, bold, can be light, etc, etc, etc. So whenever a guest is asking you, I want the wine with a light, earthy bouquet, or with bold bouquet, or with vanilla aroma, so you already will have an, an an understanding that the guest is asking for the wine that has a smell of vanilla or smell of citrusic fruits but this is not the wine this is not the taste of the wine this is just the smell of the wine so when you open the bottle the smell that that comes to your nose this is exactly what you call aroma or bouquet the second is wine body. I'm sure a lot of you have come across with the word light body wine, medium wine, full body wine. So wine body is just a literally is a weight of a wine in your mouth. And the weight of the wine depends on the volume of alcohol. If volume of alcohol is higher then 12.5% this wine is considered as a medium body wine 
if a weight if a volume of alcohol range from 13.5 and above these wines are considered as a full wine so in in short light body wines these are the wines with alcohol volume up to 12.5 percent anything between 12.5 to 13.5 are considered as a medium body wine anything above 13.5 considered as a full body wine so if the guest asking you full body wine you are already aware that the guest asking for the wine with alcohol volume more than 13.5 if anybody asking you light wine you should not be offering them wines with alcohol percentage more than 12.5 I hope we are clear over here. Then we move to our third slide. Wine crispness or acidity. So crispness and acidity, they are interrelated. The crispness depends on the level of acidity. Each grape, all wines, naturally they have an acid they have tartaric acid and some wines some grapes they are more acidic than others and acidity usually goes I mean is it usually is a taste factor of white wines for white wines I would say even acidity is a kind of a backbone of the wine taste so you might have a guest who will ask you i need a crispy wine this wine is not crispy or oh, I, I need a flabby wine i need a soft wine so these all are terms related with the acidity if the wine again i will repeat it if the wine acidity is low this one is considered as a soft wine if the wine acidity range between medium to high these kind of wines are considered as crispy wine so whenever guest, guest is asking you for crispy wine you need to know that the guest you need to advise the guest the wine with medium to high acidity level in our further lessons we're gonna describe what kind of grapes are considered as acidic grapes what kind of grapes are low in acidity and high in acidity not all the grapes but very famous white wine grapes and very famous red wine grapes so you will have an understanding of these grapes so with this one we are clear crispy Next, crispness is interrelated with acidity. If wine has a high acidity, it is a crispy wine. If wine has a low acidity, it is soft wine. And this is mainly characteristic feature for white wines. Now, next one is tannin. Now, before tannin, we said acidity is mainly characteristic features for the white wine. It's exactly the same goes for the tannin tannin is mainly characteristic for the red wine because the skin of the grape contains of tannin and as we know that the process making of red wine includes keeping the skin together with the grape juice so while the skin interacting with the grape juice it is adding the substance called tannin so tannin is the same like acidity to white wine tannin also is a kind of a backbone for the red wine as 
more tannin level as firm as stronger the wine considered so tannin itself it's a drying out feeling in your mouth whenever you swallow or sip a red wine whenever you I'm sure the people who who have drunk the red wine they have experienced it but the people who never had it whenever you try the red wine you will feel once you have first sip you will feel the dryness inside of your mouth that's the effect of the tannin so tannin comes from the skin of the grape and the second major factor that increase the level of tannin is aging of the wine if wine producer is aging the wine in oak barrels that oak barrel is increasing the tannin level so as we know most of the red wines they are going through oak aging that's why tannin is always characteristic feature for the red wine as high as tannin as stronger as firmer the red wine is considered we are clear with tannin we go to fruity so now with the fruity there are a lot of confusion sometimes I have also personally experienced this one this kind of a misunderstanding between guests and my colleague whenever they are taking order for the wine sometimes guests asking what is, what, what kind of wine is this now they are trying to explain this is fruity wine has a black fruit a berries uh, has a red fruit berries flavor and all the guest is considering the fruitiness as a sweetness and they are thinking it's a sweet wine and sometimes and sometimes we end up with a complaint that i have ordered for sweet wine i had the, the colleague told me it's a fruity wine and it has to be sweet wine so there is nothing such as fruity and sweet wine the fruity a wine whose aromas and flavors suggest food does not have anything with the sweetness so for red wines in general there are black fruit and red fruit categories so certain grapes like Cabernet Sauvignon, Malbec, Syrah they are having black berries and black fruit flavors and some grapes like Pinot Noir, Grenache, Nebbiolo they are having red fruit and red berries flavor so for the red for the red wine there are two categories as I mentioned black fruit and red fruits so whenever you are describing the red wine it's a fruity wine it would give you a um, I would say it would give you a look of a professional if you add it a little bit more detailed ex uh, definition or explanation like if you would say black fruit berries or it has a hint of the red fruits cranberry raspberry so you will give more information about the wine to the guests and guests already can draw a picture of the wine in his head for the white wines mainly two main fruity categories one three fruits like peach apple apricots and citrus like orange lemon lime passion fruit you no know. so whenever you are describing the white wine and you are telling it's a fruity wine 
is general explanation. But if you give a little bit more detail, like tree fruits flavor or citrusy wine flavor, so you'll be more clear from your side. And at the same time, the person who is ordering the wine also will know what he's ordering. Now we go to Oki wine. Now Oki wines are becoming famous and popular nowadays. I think that it, it's because of the new world wines, especially Californian wines, they are becoming very popular in the market. And you will have a guest, you will have a people, you will have a the customers who definitely gonna ask you for the oaky wine, for smoky wine. So oaky, smoky, toasty, these all the flavor characteristic of the wine that went through the oak aging. As we have already mentioned while explaining the tannin, that oak aging is affecting the level of tannin. At the same time, the oak aging giving the flavor to the wine, like a caramel, vanilla, smoky taste, toast, toffee, so this kind of a smell. So if the guest asking you an oak wine, you can go 100% for any wines, and red wines, or sometimes there are some white wines also, they are oak aged, not all of them, but some of Chardonnays, they are oak aged. So you can definitely suggest the oak aged wines. If they get asking you for smoky wine, for toasty wine, for caramel, for vanilla smells, or any of the wine that went through the oak aging, it's considered as a smoky, toasty, vanilla flavored, caramel flavored wines. So mainly it is red wine because we know the old red wines, almost all red wines, they are going through the oak aging and sometimes some white wines. Next is definition is soft wine. So especially first time wine drinkers or especially I would say So soft wine, these are the wines that are smooth in the mouthfeel rather than crisp. You remember when we were talking about the crispiness of the wine and we said acidity, if high acidity in the wine, it is considered as a crispy wine. So the people who is asking you soft wine, they are asking for wise words and they are asking you for them less acidic wine this is when it comes to the red wine for the white wine sorry for the red wine you remember when we were talking about the tannin we said as high the level of tannin as much stronger or firmer the white the red wine is considered now the same exactly goes vice versa here so if the guest asking you red wine soft red wine means the wine that has less tannin and they are move through your mouth very soft means the body of the wine also has to be something between light to medium so when we were talking about the body, wine body, we said that's the heaviness of the wine in your mouth. So as much as alcohol level, as heavier the wine in your mouth. So the soft wine is the wine that has lower alcohol volume, lower in tannin when it comes to red wine, and lower in acidity when it comes to the white wine. Now we go to firm wine. So exactly opposite of what we said for the soft wine, you can say for the firm wines. A wine that has a noticeable 
tannin structure or acidity structure or alcohol volume is considered as a firm wine if somebody asking you a firm red wine you should advise full body wine with a high level of tannin and if somebody asking you for firm white wines you are going for medium to full body wines with high level of acidity so the again the alcohol level acidity and tannin that's the main feature of the firm wine so i'll give you a small trick the climate is having enormous effect on the wine structure the wines that are coming from old world less sunshine they are tend to be lighter in body and they are considered as a firm wine for the white wine for the red wine as well the same so old world wine are considered soft because they are less tanninic whereas new world wines like californian wines australian wines chilean wines they are mostly considered as a firm because the level of alcohol are high the level of tannin is high hope it's clear so we go for the dry wine sometimes there are big misunderstanding between dryness of the wine and tannin when we were talking about the tannin we have mentioned that tannin is a dryness that you feeling once you are sipping the wine but it doesn't mean that wine is dry dry wine is opposite of sweet wine you know there are dry wine semi dry or off dry how they call it and sweet wine the wine that does not consist a sugar a residue sugar is dry wine not all the wines that has a tannin is dry so there is no correlation I mean there is a relation between tanninic and dry wine but dry wine doesn't mean a tanninic wine sweet wine so opposite of dry wine is sweet wine sweet is used to categorize wines with a residual sugar amount of 45 grams per each liter and at the same time the level of alcohol is on average between 15 to 22 percent sometimes uh, people are considering sweet wine as a light wine and light bodies but it's not like that so sweet wine is just a taste of the wine in your mouth it tastes sweet but alcohol level on average more than the dry wine alcohol level so sometimes the there are questions that what can be uh, pairing food for the sweet wine so sweet wine usually are meant for digestion for digest digestive once the people finish with the dinner you can offer them a shot of sweet wine but at the same time, some wines like Grizzly, Gustamina, they can be a good pair with some salty food, with some seafood, with some less sweet desserts, 
or sour desserts so feel free to offer some semi-sweet or sweet wines together with the main course as well it's not always sweet wine for digestive flavor intensity flavor intensity has two parts first color intensity and second flavor intensity so color intensity is nothing else just appearance of the wine there are light or they call pale medium or dark color intensity as darker color of the wine as more intense wine considered same applies for red same applies for white wine for the flavor when it comes to the flavor flavor intensity is how much flavor the wine has regardless of what those flavors are it can be only one lime or lemon flavor or strawberry flavor but that flavor is really intense is high so these wines are considered as a high flavor intensity wine and the flavor intensity is a major factor in pairing the wine with the food once you know the what's wine flavor intensity you can advise the guests food pairing accordingly in order to soften the flavor intensity of the wine <clears throat> now we go to wine finish we have discussed wine nose that's the first impression of the wine gives you when you open the bottle of wine the first smell comes to your nose that's a now that's the wine aroma bouquet or wine nose and wine finish is the last is the last impression that lives on your tongue on your mouth once you swallow the wine so now wine finish can be spicy finish can be uh, crisp finish can be uh, sweet can be a long finish short finish and so on so on so on. each wine has its own different finish but usually white wines they have crisp light finish crisp light and short finish whereas the red wines they will have more rich and longer finish in general approximately wine finish lasts for from 20 to 30 seconds and for the good for the firm for the strong wines wine finish are lasting even up to 45 seconds so wine finish is the off the taste on your tongue on your mouth once you swallow the wine now there are earthy or savory wines earthy is a term used to describe an aroma or flavor of a wine that reminds you of the characteristics it is opposite of fruity wine when we say fruity wine we said wine has a blackberry raspberry or the citrusy flavors but when we say earthy wine these are the wines that have mineral flavor or dry leaf flavors and so on so when it comes to the earthy again climate has enormous impact on the on the earthiness 
or fruitiness of the wine so the wines from all world they are tend to be earthy because of the less sunshine because of the grape are not ripened enough or not ripened over ripened or sometimes the grapes are harvested as a young so new new world wines are opposite the, because of the sunshine the grapes are more ripened they are more flavorful in terms of the fruitiness they are more fruity rather than new world wines so whenever guests are asking you for earthy wine you better look something from the old world i'm sure a lot of you have heard the word bold wine so this wine is bold or i i'm looking for bold wine or i don't want a bold wine so what does bold wine mean the bold wine is opposite of the light wine so means bold wine is something similar to the firm they are high in tannin high in alcohol they are blocking the other taste of the wine they are rich they are more creamy so if the guest asking you i'm looking for the bold wine is the same as a firm wine so you go for the wine with a high tannin we do we go with the wine with a higher in alcohol full body wine if someone is looking not a bold wine means they are looking for the light wine now the last is light or usually they call it elegant wine so light body wines are more delicate and leaner they typically contain the lowest amount of alcohol and they are lighter in the mouth lower in the tannin and they are easy drinkable for new wine drinkers or for soft wine drinkers and many people believe that light body wines are more approachable and goes well with the lighter food such as white meat seafood or salads so people whenever guess a customer or someone is telling you i need an elegant wine elegant wine or light wine you are going for the wine with the light body with the less tannin or less acidity if you are going with the light body in terms of the alcohol but high tannin it will not be considered as a light or elegant wine a light or elegant wine has to be lower in alcohol low to medium in tannin or when it comes to red wine low or medium in acidity when it comes to the white wine that's it for today i hope it was very very informative and helpful looking forward for your comments feedbacks and working on our next lesson thank you